hi guys and welcome or welcome back to the taste and bloom kitchen today we are making this very simple but delicious chicken stir fry or sauce it's going to be an amazing recipe so please stick and stay with me and let's start so i have here some chicken i'm using chicken thighs i've cut it into bite-sized pieces i'm seasoning with some garlic and ginger paste and then i'll go ahead and add some chicken seasoning and salt for more flavor okay I'll also go in with a bit of oil to help maintain the moisture in the chicken. I don't want it to dry out at the end of this recipe, okay? So I'll massage the chicken very well for all the ingredients to get into it. You know what I mean, okay? And then I'll set it aside and then go ahead with the rest of my recipe. So I'll give it tops 30 minutes whilst I prep my vegetables for the main stir fry, okay? So once this is done, I'll set it aside and then my pan is out. I'll go in with a bit of oil. This is after the chicken has marinated nicely. And then on high heat, I'm going to fry my chicken. So once it goes into the pan, I'll just make sure that all of the chicken pieces are in contact with my pan, okay? So once one side fries, or cooks a bit then i'll flip it to the other side so this takes about five to seven minutes depending on the quantity of chicken you don't want your chicken to dry out okay and also we'll be taking the chicken pieces out very soon and then we'll introduce it back into the stir fry later so make sure you're not overcooking the chicken or else it will be tough it will not be juicy and you're not going to enjoy this recipe okay if this is your first time here hello my name is yasmi please consider subscribing and joining this amazing blooming family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my video so now the chicken is out i'm going to go ahead and sweat some onions so at this point you can use any vegetables of your choice is the stir fry or the chicken sauce we've started okay so my vegetables are first of all onions as you can see so i give it about two minutes and then went in with my carrots that's because the carrots are the hardest of the rest of the vegetables I'll be adding, okay? And on the side, let's mix some concoction. So I have here some soy sauce. I'm going in with some oyster sauce as well. Add some cayenne or powdered pepper and some cornstarch. You can use all-purpose flour, okay? And then I'll go in with a bit of water. Mix everything up so all the ingredients are very well combined. Meanwhile, I'm still checking on my stir-fry. And now I'm going to introduce some yellow and green bell peppers. So as part of my ingredients prep, I had the bell peppers frozen. They were in my freezer, okay? So once I was ready to put them into the pan, I brought them out of the freezer straight forward. I was not going to wait to thaw it before. So you not like the hours coming. If you wait for it to thaw, it will become very soft and you will not enjoy it. But to maintain the crunch, Take it straight from the freezer into the pan and you are certainly going to enjoy it, okay? Now that is out of the way, I'm going to add my mixture and then I'll give it a good mix and add my chicken as well. This is a very quick and easy recipe like I mentioned in the beginning. We are not going to wait for all the ingredients to overcook, no. That's why I'm making this on high heat. Take note of that. Vegetables cook pretty fast and the chicken has been cook the bits from the beginning so you don't need too much time okay so once all the ingredients are in stir 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 and then you're good to go you realize i didn't add any salt that was because the salt from the chicken and then the dark soy sauce and then the oyster sauce were enough for me but of course correct for salt if you think yours is not enough at this point i enjoyed this chicken stir fry or sauce with some fried rice there are a ton of the fried rice recipes on my channel already. Check them out, pick one and make this fire combo. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. I'm sure you've enjoyed the recipe, so please give me a thumbs up on the video. Also leave a comment on your way out because I want to know what you think about this recipe. And share when you're done watching. And until we meet again in another video, please don't forget to keep blooming.